Hello everybody out there in YouTube world. Um, I know I didn't post the video of, as of this week as yet, but I thought I'll do one anyway. I did say I was going to pass one every now and again. Right, this video is about a little bit of a catch up on how I've been and also a little bit of a review about the movie Whale starring Brendan Fraser, who I think, me personally, I think is one of my favourite favorite actors from when I first saw him in California, man. You know, and also uh, Journey to the Centre of the Earth, and other great movies he's done. You know, he's done some of the Mummy, the mummy movies as well. But yes, um, <clears throat> How have I been? Um, to be honest, I always say this on my videos. You know, when I start my videos, there's no fanfare, there's no introduction music, no special effects intro or whatever. I just, I'm just straight out with my introduction of my videos and that's it. Um, I've been, you know, a little bit up and down because uh, it was my mum's years, one year's anniversary of her passing, which was on the 15th, just gone a couple of days ago. Um, and what did I do that day? I just took a break from training and did a, did a bit, bit more meditative side of things. Um, just trying to keep a peaceful mind, even though my emotions were running a little bit high, which they were, which they were, you know, so, but they would do anyway, it's only a natural thing, only a natural thing, but, um, yeah, I've been too bad. And Maxine, bless you, you've been golden, you truly have been golden, spending some very good quality time with my Maxine. <laughs> Um, Maxine, you know you've been you've helped me a lot as well, which is just amazing, absolutely amazing. But yeah, and my meditate, my qigong and all that. Wow, well, uh, my chi energy, the way it's been of late. Wow, it's taken me into places mentally where I've never ever been before. Because when I go into my meditation zone, the delta zone, I think they call it, I actually feel myself going into the actual universe itself. I really do. I really feel myself going into the universe. I feel like my inner body is just, just goes right into the universe to absorb that energy from the universe, to bring it back into my own physical body. And it feels like I'm being, I have been rewarded Truly rewarded. It's a wonderful feeling. It really is. And how does it make me feel as well? I feel very, very powerful. But at the same time, grounded with it too. But yes. Uh, but the thing is, my mental state, that's the thing. I've still got a lot of healing to do. I'm being honest with you all because I've been coming out of, about my childhood being open about it Oy. that's taken a bit of doing to get to that uh, stage to where I am now about being open about it and how's the book coming on? Um, it's getting on from what my co-author has been telling me of late I've been sending some uh, audio recorded uh, messages to him in relation to my book and some of the things in a bit more detail so i think that works out better for us of me sending audio recordings instead of sending him you know emails of me writing that and that takes a lot with the audio it's better so he can listen and he can pause it and then he said yep yeah. and then sometimes i'll exp explain within the audio messages you know what's going to be put into the book and any other stuff uh, but as far as I know, he hasn't been in touch with me yet, if there's going to be any more um, stuff. But I've got a funny feeling there might be. But anyway, uh, now I saw the film Whale with my wonderful Maxine on Monday of this week. Um, and I'll tell you now, I heard some things about the film. I never saw any reviews. I didn't see anything on, 
point at all. Um, wow, what a film. Really and truly, what a movie. And again, it's one of them films where you can see that looks like that, that may have really happened to the actual character that Brendan Fraser was playing. Wow, very powerful, emotionally powerful movie. Definitely got to have your um, box of hand tissues with you with this film. Most definitely, because I was crying. I don't know Maxine was, bless her. But yes, uh, if you want to go and see a good film, seriously, that is one to watch. It will it definitely hits you hard in your heart. It really will. Um, but yeah, very emotionally, powerfully driven movie. 100%. Um, and it's one of them kind of films That, that kind of thing can happen to anyone. I don't mean anyone in life. When you look at it like that, that can happen to anybody. But uh, definitely um, a good, really good film to go and watch. Definitely, I, rec I recommend it for those of you who haven't seen it as yet. Um, but yeah, that's my little bit of a, a review on that film. It is definitely well worth a watch. And out of 10, what would I give it out of 10? Eight and a half out of 10, definitely. Good film, good film. And what movie I'm going to be seeing next? Because um, where I live, um, the City World movies is walking distance from where I live. That's how close it is. I can walk in about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes max. But yeah. But yeah, I'll definitely will be doing more movie reviews on my channel as well among some other stuff that i do and i did say i'm going to be doing some more training related stuff meditative related stuff on my channel because we're getting closer now to may the uk martial arts show so it's february march april may i've just got under three months of training to do just i'm just working on my flexibility work uh, my body conditioning and my meditation of course and that's it and people ask me, do I rehearse any forms or anything for what I do? No. Nope. I just do it natural. It's my chi. It just does it for me. I don't think about what I do anymore. I don't think oh, I've got to get into this posture or that posture. My body just does it naturally through my chi. I just let my chi resonate through it all. And the way how my chi is feeling this year compared to last year, it's gone on to another level and it really has. I mean, for those of you who've never met Maxine, if you were to speak to her or make a comment on this video and she could respond to you, she would tell you and let you know what my chi level is at now. Because she's known me for about four years, but we've never really got to meet each other as much as us, what we are doing now. And she will tell you what my chi level is at. Because some people don't believe what chi can actually do for you. I'm not saying you have to believe into it. Is knowing what it really can do for you. It's the stuff I do is no stage effects. No, I don't use any other outside thing to pretend that I've got chi. I really have got it, and Maxine will tell you. And for those of all, those of the people who have experienced what I can do, they will tell you themselves. And they really will. I'm not one of these chi energy people who are in it to say, oh, I'm going to use it as a gimmick thing. No, this is no gimmick at all. <laughs> I've worked all these years and it's taken me a long time to really get to where I am today. I still did doing Qigong properly from as far back as the mid-1990s. That's how far back I've gone. So you're talking the 1990s, 2000. Best part of... 30 years that's a long time in practicing qigong and tai chi it is a long time it really really is and again been in the martial arts and did boxing and stuff like that so all together really i've been involved with what i do over 50 years because my father played around with us about boxing he taught us how to box from when i was a little child from two to three years of age 
Well, I'm coming 57, so yeah. Oh, but just about 50, nearly 55 years, basically, all together with everything. When you look at it like that, that's madness, isn't it? My martial arts, of course, has been 48 years. So, yeah, so the boxing stuff we did way, way before that. But there you go. But seriously, you want to speak to Maxine and she will tell you. She's um, a subscriber of my channel. So, yeah, I know Maxine, you always make a comment on my videos. And uh, there's some of you out there who do make some very good comments. Thank you. But there you go. Anyway, I'll be doing another movie review um, sometime next week. Because I don't know what kind of film we're going to be watching. But when, when I, me and Maxine go to the cinema, we don't really plan to go and see what we watch. We just go and see. We turn up. And that's the beautiful thing with it. We go and see. And have a look. Yep. And so we just have a look. That's how it is. We don't. I mean, I've got the cinema world app to say, yeah. But no, I'd rather just turn up there. And then that's how I like doing things, spontaneous things. Sometimes when you try and plan for things, nine times out of ten, it doesn't normally go to plan, so to speak. So just turn up, see what's on, that's it. But I do have a very look to see what's coming as well, so yeah. But there you go. So if you're new to the channel, appreciate you watching my videos, thank you. But if you haven't subscribed, and I always say this on my videos, there's no pressure whatsoever, none. None, zero, zero, nada, niente. <laughs> um, but if you do want to subscribe, by all means, it's up to you. But if you do, hit the notification bell so every time when I upload a video, you'll get a notification when I put up a video. Okay, also like, comment, and share any of the videos, it's entirely up to you. Also, my channel, share my channel again, it's entirely up to you. There's no pressure. And if you don't, no problem. Not a problem. As you see in Jamaica, no problem, man. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. Thank you for those of you for taking your time out of your day to watch some of my videos. And I do really appreciate that. I really do. And to all my martial arts brothers and sisters from around the world, thank you too. Thank you too. So all of you, thank you for all that love and support. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. And I keep sending up my big love to you all and I do and this is not for show which some people might think this is from my heart and soul I'm real about this you know I'm not joking about it when I'm sharing love it is love from my soul it's not physical love it's love from within me it's, that's tied in two different things all together but anyway I share my love through my chi as well my love is shared through that too so anyway, thank you. And please stay safe out there, everybody in that world of us. Please stay safe. And I'm going to make a quick mention. Rest in peace, Mark Owen, my brother. Rest in peace. Because I know Mark Owen recently passed. Um, he's one of my social media friends. Uh, I've met him a few times at the UK Martial Arts Show and some of the Hall of Fame award events uh, since 2015. So, you know, but yes. Rest in peace, Mark Owen's my brother. Going to be missed. Rest in peace.